How you doing? Good. It's really hot. We're at Wild Horse Park, and we're playing one game today. For the TCS National Championship, we went 10-0, and it was a really good tournament. We won a na Triple Crown National Championship, and Jazzy, Jazzy kind of carried us throughout the weekend. She's right there. Bases were loaded. It was hit with this bat. And I hit a two-run <laughs> single. So basically, I was on third, and then I see Jazzy hit the ball, and I'm like, oh my god! And then I see Emily run home. Oh my god, Jazzy! Oh my god! And so we beat Stith, and then we beat Mercado, like, 7-4. Just being able to beat those two teams, you know, come together as a team, and timely hitting really, you know, played a role in that in those two games. It was so fun. All of our energy was, like, super high and uplifting. And we were like going crazy in the dugout. It was a great, it was a great time. Oh, I got a right idea. It's like the white, white yeah. piping going into Please. a black strip for our normies and I, white socks. Luke, there's no making them happy. They have to feel good to play good. And apparently, I screwed up the uniform combination today. Doing all right. Hey, the face is a little bit better. All right, a little road rash <laughs> from <laughs> from the other night. What happened there, Bill? Oh, uh, I got in a fight with a scooter and I lost. He tossed me over the handlebars and right onto the gravel. Mass Pro Shops steak jerky, highly recommend. And you can hear it crunch. Ew! That is so gross. That's so good. Addy and I were in a camp yesterday, the on deck camp. And for some reason, I got one of the fastest 40 meter times. Like, I don't run. Wow. And she has the fastest like, exit below. And I don't hit. How are you? Look up when there's a camera. It just face. again, you know? I just. Good to see you. It's going great. You ready? I'm so ready. I can never get it down. It's so embarrassing. There you go. There you go. Got it. Actually, I'm not tired. Don't Lucas, say that. Your hat is so totally cute. uneven. <laughs> Can we just like turn it? Wait, I think oh, no. left. Okay. To the left. <laughs> there you go. Wait, look okay. up. Look up. Perfect. No, no, no. Not that much. I'm short. Okay. There we go. Okay, thank you. All good. I was best bugging you. <laughs> We're talking about girl problems. <laughs> yeah, girl problems. We're all like, nobody has a chance to get to say that I'm not here today. I'm T posing with my hair. I'm asserting I'm my this. dominance. <laughs> I've only been a firecracker for a year, so it's kind of sad because I feel like, don't look at me! <laughs> I feel like my time is cut short. I really liked like, the, learning about the mental side of the game. I feel like I've gotten so much better as a player in the past year. But I'm also gonna miss like the girls because like it's so nice when everyone on your team is like on the same wavelength as you. And like I feel like we all get along really well. And I've never been on a team where like everybody likes each other. So it's really different and new, but it's coming to an end, but hopefully when I go to college it's like the same way. Well, I'm going to Stanford, so when I go there, I'm really excited to meet new people. But I'm really excited because I really love like Northern California and I really love the campus when I toured it. So I hope I love it as much when I'm there. Yeah, it's the last tournament, so I think like seven years, yeah. And this is your last year as a fire captain? last, yeah. So what are you going to miss? Just the atmosphere, the way we play the game, and the amazing people, coaches. This is an honor to play for Tony Rico and the fire captains. I came in last week at the TCS Nationals for a few days, and then came back for a It was super fun. All the girls were super nice. They made it super easy just to come in without knowing any of them. And it was really fun being able to see how they play different to what I've seen before. Oh you guys look like you're having fun, right? I am just really, really proud and really happy of uh, the education, the development, and all different areas that we've talked about, right? National tournaments are a different format. You guys know that, okay? If any of you have any questions on your role after this, I'll be very clear with you because the lineup has basically made itself, okay? You've all done an amazing job this summer, and I'm very, very proud and very happy, and I feel a large amount of acceptance to whatever happens happens. Now that being said, are we good enough to win this? Yes. Notice.
Do we have the pieces? Yes. All right, sound good? Okay, get loose. Let's do it. So last week we were in the Triple Crown National Championships in California. It was good preparation for this week because I think the temperature was anywhere from uh, 98 to 100 degrees. So we got to experience that heat that we need to prepare for this tournament. So last week we had a really good week. It was a good run. You know, again, in these types of tournaments, it's not always the best team that wins. It's the team that plays the best. And so last week we happened to be that team. But to be honest with you, that was last week. So here we are at Alliance. We're confident because we know how well we can play. But we're back at zero, just like every other team here. So we're excited about it. Gosh, the finale is always kind of bittersweet, right? It's kind of like, you know, it's been a great party and it's the end, getting close to the end of the party, but there's no better way to go out than at the Alliance National Championship. So here we are in Oklahoma City and just finished talking to the team, prepping them for this week. Acceptance is a big part of this weekend, meaning accept whatever happens before it happens. And then, hey, we give ourselves the best chance to just play well. That's all we're trying to do this week. So super excited to be here, Luke, and super glad you're here with us in the heat. Uh, I'm sad because I love everybody here. I love the environment, but I'm excited to start something new. I'm going to the University of South Carolina. Well, obviously I'm going to miss all the girls because we've all gotten so close, like especially the ones that I've played with for the past three years. Um, but I think the environment as well, just the community and all the support that we get as a team and as an organization. So yeah, I'm gonna miss that the most. We're gonna kick butt in this tournament, so I'm excited. Good. According to the weather, I'm pretty sure it's 92. It's actually almost is like a solid 50. It could be worse though. On my visit was 102 with humidity. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to be behind the plate too. I don't know what's it's gonna be. It's gonna be a little hot. How dare they hit Ange? Right in the knee, but it's okay. All right, what'd that come down to? What'd this game come down to? Putting the ball in play, picking each other up, hitting spots, 
bunts. We started to pick ourselves up, started to put some balls in play with the small game, right? Who came up big? Who did some things that came Piper. up big? Piper, let's give it to her. Huh? Your routine is huge. Even if you're a high-strung player, okay, high-strung people, you can't come out here and be all antsy and expect things to happen. It really comes down to execution. This game came down to execute, right? If you're doing what you know how to do, you're in a good situation, right? Who else did some good jobs? Bella, Bella right? Swing the bat. Actually, her and Emily, the one and two. Okay, who entered the game and did a good job? Diamond! So again, I'm not an emotional coach. I don't just go, oh, you got to hit, you're in the lineup. But I like to see who's ready. I like to see who comes off the bench and makes something happen. Because the bottom line is, are you good enough? Are you good enough to be in the lineup in your team? If you're not good enough, then sometimes you got to find a team that's maybe not as good. So you can play a little more. Or get better and be inspired by your teammates. And all of a sudden, everybody gets better. Right? It's not about having to get a hit or going 0-4 or going 1-1. for but it's your approach, it's your routine, it's your decisions. And like I said, I'm prepared for all of you to play the best game of your life and make my job extremely hard. But think about that. Who's it going to be next game? You might get a surprise start. You might come off the bench. Who's it going to be next game? I guarantee you that if we went out through this week, it will be with every player in this dugout. Every single player. All right? Makes sense? Okay. Say it, Pipe. It's a wrap. I think there's five. There's five that are like, like I've played with Bella for three years, and so like I'm really going to miss Bella. It's weird leaving and starting a new chapter. Excited but sad. It's going to be really sad to see the seniors go. I've had a lot of fun playing with them and they're all amazing players. Yeah, we're leaving after. Yeah. Love, Emma, I'm such a couple. You guys are gonna kill me. We played in Florida two years ago. It was like we all went, we all roomed together. Cool. And as like a team, we had a lot of fun. So it was really funny because I shared a bed with Skye. And so you know Skye's like a lot shorter than me. She was like, I was on the edge of the bed and she was draped across me, pushing me off the bed. But I miss stuff like that. I'm excited that we get to look back, like I can look back at all these vlogs and stuff. The ones at the old Huntington Beach warehouse. I can pull it out and show it to my kids and be like, look, this is me. I want to say just everything. Everything's going to stick with me, every memory. Are you sad to say goodbye? I am, but I always will be a firecracker, so, you know, it'll always be with me. It's always bittersweet for the seniors when they're leaving uh, their last hurrah for this team. In fact, our last game last year was right on this field over here, and we said goodbye to our seniors on that particular field. But we also feel good about how they're prepared for life. So they could come away with championships, player status, you know, great jobs so as a result of their college education. But the number one thing we want for them is happiness and dignity. So we're looking forward to see what this group of seniors become. And we've got some special ones. So we wish them the best, and it's been a great ride with them.